Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So it's actually um, bank holiday Monday after Easter and I went to a car boot sale. As you can see I am extremely bent on my shoulders. I went to one yesterday as well and it was the sunniest warmest day ever. So yeah I've got freckles coming out on my face which happens every year and I'm bent on my shoulders and my back but I don't mind because I'm excited for summer. But yeah, I've been to two car boot sales over the weekend. I went to see them on Sunday, which was yesterday, Easter Sunday. And I went to a Stokesley car boot sale today, which is in Middlesbrough. And I think I prefer to see them. There's a lot more order to the stalls. Today I just didn't know my way around Stokesley, so it was hard to go to every stall. But other than that, I picked up some really, really nice pieces from both of the car boot sales that I thought I'd share with you. Um, so I'm going to take you through some of them and show you some of the great bargains you can find in car boot sales. <laughs> so first of all, I just want to put a mention out to this little fella on my desk. I went to a car boot sale about a month ago when they first opened, like the very first day it was on at Seam. And I found this plant pot, it was from TK Maxx originally for 9 99 and I, I picked it up for a pound and I bought this little um, succulent from B&M. For three forty nine, so yeah, um, just popped him in there. Obviously, the pot's a bit too big, so I either need to find a bigger, a bigger vase, or find a smaller one of these to put in. But picked him up. He was really cute, and he just sits on my desk now. I've finally got a real plant to go on my desk. <laughs> and next, I'll show you the things I picked up yesterday, and then we'll get to the things I got today. So I got a pile of things. Um, I'm gonna go through. First of all, I went to a lady and she had a rail of clothes and it was three for five pounds. So me and my mum were looking through them and she found this really nice Zara shirt that she wanted. So I found some other bits to go with the deal. So the first thing I picked up was this Topshop black shirt. Now I don't really shop in Topshop or River Island like that. I always ever go to Primark and then that's it shop online so I'm not sure how old these pieces are but I don't mind but yeah first thing I got was this Topshop shirt and I'm not sure how well you'd be able to see but it's extremely sheer so you'd have to wear a little crop top with it but it's got a little collar and it's got two like long tassels at the front and it's kind of a peplum style I'll try and show um I'll try and to try it on for you guys so you can see how it fits but obviously that was in the three for five pound deal. That's in a size eight. So I really like that. And then to go with that, because my mum couldn't find anything else that she wanted, I picked up these new look skinny jeans. These are in a 10. And they just look like this. They're extremely like white and brand new and they're just a skinny fit. Um, and I didn't realize until I got home that they're missing their button on the top, which is probably why she was selling them so cheap. But um, they fit perfectly and when you zip it up it's not like gaping open so I think if I just put a belt on it'll cover it and it won't matter too much but yeah those are brand new so I picked up those pieces for a fiver next I think this was the stall next to the lady who had the three for five pound deal and she was selling this new look little white top and it's kind of like a crochet detail on the top and it just goes into like a little shirt style at the bottom. This is a size 14. Um, but it doesn't look that big. And I tried it on and it fits perfectly. So I'm not sure why the sizing's a bit off. But on the bottom it's got this really nice. Um, can you see? It's like kind of crocheted at the bottom as well. The same as the top. And this is. Well this looks brand new. And I actually came across a size 12 today. So if I didn't buy this yesterday, I'd have definitely bought it at the car boot sale I saw it today. Um, but it's just so nice and with a pair of denim jeans on, denim jean shorts, which I have on now, um, it looks so nice. So this is really cute. I like the fit of it and it really doesn't look like a size 14 because it fits me perfectly, like especially around the arms. There's not much room there, so I don't know what's wrong with that, but... Yeah, I think this looks nice with the shorts. Maybe if I wear like a strappy top underneath or something because you can kind of see the bra through it. 
but it fits really nice and it's extremely summery. Um, as well as that, I actually picked up the shirt I'm wearing now. So this is a top shop. I think it's a size 12, but it's like this top shop um, lace um, sleeveless shirt thing, and it's got like this um, really thin underlay and a crochet oval, and it's got a high neck, and it's so pretty, and it was brand new, like. You could just tell when I picked it up, um, it didn't have tags on but it just didn't look like anyone had wore it so I picked that up and this was only a pound so I thought what a bargain for a Topshop shirt. So this is how I wore this um, outfit today, I had my denim shorts on from Primark and this Topshop shirt. I have this Bershka cardigan that I just threw on in case it got a bit chilly because sometimes it's a bit windy on car boot sales because it's normally on a field near to see or something and then I just wore my um, Louis Vuitton bag and my black Primark sandals that I got last week so yeah <laughs> it's a pretty cute outfit and without the bag and cardigan it looks like this so it's really nice very girly and cute and extremely summery <laughs> so I've been on the hunt for another leather jacket and I bought one from Primark and it just looks so cheap and it was £14 and I thought I could probably get a second hand one in better quality, like at a cheaper price. So I came across this, it's by Noisy Me, which I think is sold on ASOS. And it's an extra small, which is probably too small for me, but it fits like a glove, like perfectly. And it's got leather sleeves and like this leather collar, but it's actually got like a suede. It's really hard to show you because it's all black. But it's got like a suede body to it and a suede back. But the sleeves are leather and she originally wanted £5 for this but I managed to hug her down and get it to 3 which for a, <laughs> for a leather jacket is ridiculously cheap. So I'm going to return the one I got from Primark and keep this one. The only problem is it is a bit snug on my arms so I can only wear a t-shirt with it but that doesn't bother me because I wanted to wear it with maybe like summer dresses and stuff so yeah. Really happy with that one. So this jacket is a bit snug on my arms. I mean, it's an extra small. So what's that, like a six to eight? I'm definitely not that small, but it, it's comfortable and it's not pulling in any way, but I definitely couldn't wear anything more than a t-shirt like this. But I think it's really nice and it's quite fashionable with the suede and the leather, so. Next thing I picked up, I originally thought this would be a good festival bag or a dog walking bag because of how many compartments it has. So it's this little bag and normally I'm not into little bags like this and it's a bit like, I don't know, used but I kind of liked it so I picked it up. It was only a pound and it's Kenneth Cole Reaction, I don't know what that is. But it's just this black leather looking bag with this really long strap and I thought it's perfect because it can just stand, stay on your side like that, you know that it's there, and then it also opens up. You've got a pocket on the top, a pocket in the middle, a pocket on the front, and a big pocket in, in the side that goes all the way down to the bottom. So you've got a lot of compartments for, I don't know, your phone, your money, dog bags if I'm using it to walk my dog. So yeah, for a pound I thought it was perfect, and I wouldn't mind it getting ruined because it's just like a cheap bag. So if I go to the things I picked up today, they're all in this Ikea bag that my mum carries around everywhere with her. But first thing I got is this white denim, sh denim shirt, <laughs> denim skirt from Miss Selfridge. And it's in the petite range and it's a UK 12. I am a 10, but I thought because it's a 12, it would maybe fit a bit better over my hips. I'm just worried about the height, like the length of it. It's extremely short, obviously because it's petite, but she only wanted £2 for this and it's practically back brand new. I think she said her daughter had only worn it once. So I got it anyway in the hope that it's not too short. But it looked fine from the front, but it's always the back. Like, denim skirts here always like stick out like that and show way more of your leg than you want to. So yeah, I'll try that on. I'm not sure if that's going to fit, but if it doesn't, I'll sell it at a car boot sale that I'll do in the future. So I put this blue top on um, with the skirt just to see what it looks like. And because the skirt's a 12, it's doing what I thought it would and like be too big around the waist um, and sit on my hips. 
but where it sits on my hips is like the perfect length for me like it's not too short so if I was to wear a belt and wear it where I'd want it it's like quite baggy and short at the back so I mean it doesn't look too bad with this top um, maybe if I just wore it a bit in between where I'd like to wear it and where it fits um, it wouldn't be too bad but definitely for holiday I think this would be perfect for um, going to the beach or something or going for drinks on a night because one of the last stalls I went to there was a lady with clothes on the floor for a pound and I saw this really cute blue and white stripy top and it's that really stretchy material that you get on like cheap tops from Primark and this is the new look 915 generation kids tops in an age 13 but I tried it on over this and it looked kind of cute with my shorts from what I could see in a car window it looked okay so I got that for a pound because it looked brand new um, so we'll give it a go it's great quality I think she said her daughter only wore it once and her daughter was a size 8 so hopefully me as a size 10 will look fine in it I'm actually surprised that this fits me. Um, <laughs> I think it looks cute with the shorts. It's a very like a beachy summery outfit but yeah I like it. Um, you can see my red shoulders in this one. Oh, look how bad they are. <laughs> Next thing I picked up is an ASOS UK 10. This is a long white shirt. Um, it's very plain but it's just above knee length so it's perfect to wear as a dress I'm not sure how sheer it's going to be I think it'll be fine but it looks like it's got this tag still on so it's fairly brand new and it's just got long sleeves I tried it on over this outfit that I wore a day when I was picking it up to see if it was long enough and I rolled the sleeves up and I think it would just be a really nice kind of summer dress and if it gets a bit cold wear a jumper over the top or a cardigan so yeah i need to try it on properly because i only tried one side on like sort of the arm would fit um so yeah i'll give that a go this is definitely long long enough for a dress but i think what i'd do is i'd maybe put it with a belt so it's a bit more like fit into my shape because like this it's just a bit blah but i mean you can see my jean shorts underneath but i think maybe if i had like nude underwear it wouldn't be too bad and then with a belt i got this belt from primark yesterday as well i can't get it off but it's like this stretchy um wicker one so i think maybe if i was to bunch up the share and make it a bit more like fitted it would look a lot cuter so yeah i think this could be nice it has potential i'll just have to work with it a little bit and see if i don't just look like a sack of potatoes in it but yeah even like that it's definitely long enough um to wear as a dress what's this one i was at a stall and she had a rail of clothing for a pound and i saw this really cute it's a sleeveless stripy dress um navy and white and it just goes into like a skater style it's quite short looking so i think it would be cute i think it's missing a belt as well and it's got these little buttons on the back but where the zip goes up on the side because i was checking if the zip worked um it's got this little hole at the top of the zip can you see it's like yeah so my mum's gonna try and sew some fabric over there to maybe cover it up a bit but I haven't tried any of these things on yet, so I hope they fit. But I thought this would be cute. It's like a beach dress. Um, so this dress is extremely short um, compared to what I thought it would be. It's about the same length as my shorts, but at the back it like goes up a bit high. But I suppose it's a cute little beach dress um, if you've got a bikini on underneath. I'd definitely wear some type of short underneath. Or something but I've just got these black shoes on again and I think they look fine lastly I got this next top in a size 10 and it's this really cute little I don't know kind of boho style sleeveless top with the this pattern on and I just thought these would be so cute with the denim jeans I have on and some black sandals and maybe a cardigan just 
just a plain easy outfit to throw on when it's warm I'm hoping the weather stays hot because I've bought all these summer clothes and if it gets cold again I'm going to be a bit cold if I wear these so hopefully I can get my wear out of them but yeah I thought that would be kind of nice <laughs> okay this is this shirt I'm not sure if it's me it's a bit wide around the neck but this is it with the shorts. I mean, it's kind of cute and it'll be nice if I have nothing else to throw on and just put this on with my shorts. But I'm not sure it's my favourite thing that I've bought. But yeah, I think I might wear it once or twice. It might even look nice with some black jeans and maybe a cardigan if it gets a bit colder. So yeah, we'll see. But for a pound, it was it's worth it, I suppose. And that's everything. A quick haul. I feel like I've speeded through that, but I bet it's a long video because <laughs> I'm really bad at editing down my videos. So I really hope you enjoyed my videos. I am, I have said this before, I am aiming to do a car boot sale next week, which is what I said in my first car boot sale haul, and I didn't upload it, but I haven't done one yet. But I am off next Sunday at work, and I am hoping that I am going to do a car boot sale. I have bought so many clothes these past few weeks from Primark. All their new stuff is so nice. And I still haven't got rid of all the old stuff that I've decluttered. <sighs> I think my favourite thing is this shirt from Topshop. It's it's so me. <laughs> when I want to be girly. I'm really trying to stay away from t-shirts in the summer because all, all I've worn throughout winter is some t-shirts or jumpers. And I really want to get into like prettier shirts, you know, like not t-shirts, but like dressier shirts, lacy shirts. So I hope I get my wear out of these ones because I don't want to wear t-shirts all summer. <laughs> but yeah, please like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of the items I picked up. And maybe tell me which one was your favourite piece. I'd love to know what you liked the most. And hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Bye!